So I'm here today to tell you about a new economics. My research follows two threads. One of them is on understanding technologies and how what causes technologies to improve. The other one is on simulating economies. One of the things we've discovered over the last 10 years is that many technologies follow Moore's law in the generalized sense that costs drop exponentially with time. Not every technology does that, but a lot of them do. Why are technologies so different? This is an area where I think conventional economics is badly lacking to an economist. Uh, technology is what's called a total factor improvement, uh, total factor productivity coefficient. So a comment on a conference on AI. AI, as it currently stands, is mainly about machine learning. Machine learning is great. I've worked in it myself. Um, but you should bear in mind that all machine learning really is, is fitting a nonlinear function to some data. It's just regression on steroids. The big problem with this approach is you can't model situations you've never seen. The problem is in something like the economy, the rules are changing with time and certainly the situation changes in time. Now I wanted to give you a vision of the economics of the future. I imagine real-time simulations of the major countries of the world. Another one that thinks about how firms make decisions, how banks actually operate, and so on. I think we're going to see that the sign of the models that we've had so far has actually been wrong. We're going to win economically. Um, the digital economy is something that I'm really worried about. We have to increase our levels of awareness from the ones we have now where we can think about the external environment reasonably well. We can think about our effect on the environment to some extent but we really need to think about our collective effect on ourselves.